Two weeks ago, a man died, and I got waylaid in an airport, lost it in the taxi zone, kicking up dirt. The plane's in-flight magazine had published an interview. We're both still alive against all odds, he'd said. I sobbed during takeoff, again in another airport over glasses of wine, because I was homesick and maybe because I bled just a little. Tonight, I browse the television, and they are remembering his life. In one clip, he muses on the loneliness of dining, sleeping in a beautiful villa alone, the lack of another fork, plate, all for show, the connection made months later through an upturned glass. In a room at the Best Western, I am drinking to avoid not smoking. I am flipping channels to fill the space, to forget I am lonely every night. I am lonely. I leave, walk to escape, but everything is closed because this is Fredericton Sunday night. The road ends where something new is being built. No gates to keep a wanderer out, no alarms. Frames let in the night, and I walk through walls, upstairs without banisters. On the second floor, there is wonder in the way the ceiling, <laughs> in the way the roof beam slights the light. Grit in unfinished wood, work boot footprints under my small, soft soul shuffle. In this not yet home, I think my time is too short to be lonely. In the night, everything seems finite and possible. I have this. It's always the days and days and days and days and days and days. What is going home but another blind date, another chore, another night out on the town? What is a hotel but a beautiful kennel? What is lonely but beautiful? What mind but an echo chamber? The poem but a candid confession. Two weeks ago, a man died, and I got waylaid in an airport. When I landed, I ran out into the night.